Rev Caves, you what? Right. So today, what have they even released? So they've got, we've, so we've got a lot to cover. We've got Major Arena 2 for the new best in slot Magic Cape, and of course the Revenant Caves. But we'll get onto that a little bit later. So if you've got 75 plus Magic and you've completed the original the Major Arena in the uh, in the wilderness, and you've unlocked the ability to cast all the God spells outside of the arena, which is like you cast each of them like 75 times or something, then you can track down and defeat three demons found in random locations within the deep multi-combat wilderness. Let me just bank all this, and I can uh, actually show you how to dundeadly do. This. So we grab a glory and a wilderness order, we'll head over to Edgeville so we can run on over to the uh, the mage bank in the wilderness. So if you head right into here, pull this lever, mage bank, right, it's mage bank man, how do you not know where it is? Draw to this guy, he should give you a heart and cult device, uh, yes, um, uh, any more challenges available? Oh, potential man, ah oh, yes. So that's where the requirement of 75 mage and you have to complete the original mage arena mini quest. To require the hearts of all three demons. Interesting. So then, just as an example, we'll go out here with this little emblem thing, or this symbol, and we activate it as it locates their new positions. Uh, so let's look for the Saradomen one, whatever dude. And then, then we do this, let's look for Saradomen. It's very cold and the temperature is the same as last time. Oh wait, that means we need to go east or west. It's warmer than last time, so this means that the Saradomen demon for me right now is like over here somewhere. Some he's east of me somewhere. But uh, I'm not going to track him down quite yet. And so once you've tracked down all three demons and you've got all three of their hearts, you can use all three hearts to upgrade one cape. And those three hearts, while you're collecting them, they cannot be banked, which means you're risking them as you collect all of them, which is sort of annoying. And if you didn't already know, I'll give you a quick rundown of the uh, mage stats. There we grab, this is the same as a Saradomen cape from the mage arena. So this is the standard one, plus 10 mage attack, plus 10 mage defense and some other defenses. The new one has plus 15 mage attack, plus 15 mage defense, and has plus uh, 3, 3, 3 in stab, slash and crush. And it also has 2% magic damage. So it's, it's a little bit of upgrade, it's pretty good. Whether it's worth the time to get, that's, a, that's another question. Entirely, but it's best in slots so people will go for it. And then if I died with a uh, upgraded Saradomen cape, then all of my Saradomen capes in general, all of them, the upgraded and the non-upgraded, non would be lost and I would have to go back to, uh, then I'd have to go to like the guy in Edgeville and buy it back so it's not too bad. And then, oh boy, we've got rev caves. I, I have to, I can't wait dude, I have to go there right now. Alright, so I'm pretty sure the fastest way, <laughs> alright, so I'm pretty sure the fastest way to get to rev caves is using the burning amulet, go to the bandit camp. And then it's literally just east of that, which, like it was previously, so the lower entrance is right over here-ish. Am I right? There it is. Oh man, I don't like this already. Pre-OC, this cave was facing west, not south. Just saying. Alright, let's go. Alright, so initially, uh, this does not look the same as pre-OC. This area was smaller, but that's okay. So, we'll go this way. There's some green dragons. The map I'll show on the screen now is different than what it was pre-OC. Um, so if you remember pre-OC, it, it wasn't like this. This cave is like, it has more more like tunnels in it and it's just bigger in general. Yeah, so I, you have to, that's why I got the stamina pot. And also, yeah, this is my gear. Hopefully I'm not risking anything. Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. As long as I don't skull. So, let's just uh, hide that so I don't skull. I was thinking of bringing the Anguish Necklace, but then Glory to teleport out. And this is going to be packed, I imagine. And also, these agility... This is the only thing I really like, because they changed it. If you have a garbage agility level, you won't be able to, um... You won't be able to, like, use the shortcuts. Oh, no, boy, there's a Revenant. Oh, no, there's PKs. Okay, I'm gone. Oh, Revenant Knight. I'm sort of upset that they didn't update the... Uh, oh, no, PKs. Log out. <laughs> so this place is absolutely packed, dude. Um, yes. Let's try a 2K Total World. Hopefully I don't die instantly. Yee, 2K Total World seems safe. Uh, let, let's part, do the blow pipings. Revenant Orc. Oh, he's so big. He looks sort of cool because he's huge. Uh, oh, what's that? Hi. Dude, I'm not going to get any of these drops. This is what it is right now. Dude, I want to drop. So, like, right now I'm pretty sure once this calms down, blow pipe will be best. But this guy, is because he's running around with an Elder Maul. So he's just hoping at RNG he can, like, slap 250s or whatever. And then hopefully get the kill. <gasps> I got Revenant. Oh, I got a drop, man. Revenant Ether. Oh, what's that, dude? Well, let me just read up what Revenant Ether is. Man, this might be my drop if I get a good hit. Oh, oh, I don't know. Ah, oh, yes, I got oh, one Revenant Ether. All right, let's see what this Revenant Ether does. So the Revenants, as you saw up there, someone got a bracelet. You can charge that bracelet with this. Is this, oh, yeah, this is tradable. So that's cool. So you charge with that. Oh, Revenant Ether. Oh, wait, I got Addy Bars. Are they noted? Oh, dude, four Addy Bars, this, this is pretty garbage, but I've I've heard that this is, like, disgustingly OP. I've heard someone got 500 Onyx Bolts, and someone got, uh, f uh eight Magic Seeds. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. Right, let me stop killing and read what the uh, the ether does. So when the bracelet is charged, revenants will no longer be aggressive to you. In addition to this, you'll become immune to their attacks. However, each attack will drain one charge from the bracelet. Once all the charges have been consumed, the bracelet will revert to its uncharged form, which loses the effect. So the bracelet is useless by its own, but once it's charged, you become immune to their attacks and they're not aggressive to you. But right now, that aggression doesn't... Oh, someone got another bracelet. They're pretty, probably pretty uncommon, I imagine. Ooh, ether. I'm stealing all this ether. Man, everyone's getting bracelets, dude. Oh, another bracelet. Dude, they're so common. All right, the bracelets will probably will be worth like 10 or 20k in no time. And uh, the charges will probably be worth not a lot either. Oh, dude, we got, we got some PK in action right here. Oh, man, I thought I got that bracelet. No. <laughs> He's gay. <laughs> Hey, right now it's like PKs versus PKs. Like they don't really care about us because anyone with any value is just gonna run away. I don't think they're gonna actually attack us. What was that? He has like a dart animation. Oh wait, people are on me. That's not good. Let's uh, get out of here. Never. Did they just got off me, man? Do they not want to go through the? Uh, maybe they just gave up because the Ellie. So that yeah, that's why I got the Ellie to like deter people. Yes. All right, we'll just uh, this is how it's gonna go. When a team runs through the cave, you just gonna have to wait like a few minutes for them to clear out and then hop worlds, and then it's probably safe to go back. And uh, yeah, hello there. Oh, and yeah, so this bracelet has an ALK value of 43k, so actually it's not gonna drop below 40k. <laughs> so yeah, it'll stay at 43k forever because of the ALK value, and you always lose it on death. And then some other drops, are there still PKs there? I don't think so. Oh man, this brings me back days when you'd have like a D high top, bring rune legs. Oh man, I'm loving it, dude, I'm loving it. But everyone's back here, I've literally been waiting for like two minutes to this guy, he's gold. Oh, I got the drop, ah oh, dude, I'm getting nothing. Hold up, this guy has a Soros name, I'm gonna have to go say hello. After I kill this Reverend Knight. Cobrasaurus. Nice name. Nice name, dude. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's got a D-Sim. He's one item. That's so cute. All right, I just got a drop. What I get? Rune, two rune crossbows. That's pretty good. I mean, it's pretty garbage, actually. This seems good. Gimme. Oh, man. This is going to be my drop. I expect a good, good hit, man. Oh, no. I'm hitting zeros. Mine. Please. Pretty, please. Pretty, 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 please. Ooh, rune eye. Oh, nice. Ouch. And yeah, so uh, all the revenants have a chance of dropping a revenant cave teleport scroll, which is like, eh, because burning amulet teleports you there anyway. Because the teleport scroll teleports you to the lower side anyway, and this is like only like, what, 20 spaces away from it or something. So I don't know, it's probably going to be pretty cheap because this is like cheaper and it gets you to the same place sort of, except you have to run through multi to get there. It would definitely be useful though. Oh no, he's getting on people. Oh no, he's got a call in his team. Here we go. Team's gonna come in now. Now where's the team at? Oh, the casualty. He just got two bracelets. This is definitely gonna revitalize the wilderness. I do like this, but I don't like how they released it a bit early. Uh, these um, these remnants, I think they could have looked better, probably, because Ghost is a beast and he could have made them look uh, amazing. I, I don't even know if I'm safe, dude. They're just, like, attacking people, and but not me. Seems good, dude. I'm safe. Hey, look, uh, genie. Hey, look, dude, look. Fletching. Oh, no, they're getting on me. <laughs> They just got off me immediately because I had an Ellie and I started praying. All right, that's cool. <laughs> oh, hold on. People are getting TB'd. Gotta run. All right, I think these PKs are like slowly getting on everyone. So I'm just going to like run. So the other drops. So all the revenants have a chance of dropping a ancient crystal. And I guess it will scale by combat level or like how hard they are to kill. Then you have more chance of getting them. These ancient crystals, you can go to your POH and you can make an obelisk room. And that's what we're going to check out right now. Now if I just hop into building mode real quick so I can show you the room that you can create. So just go, uh, um, uh, uh, this door right here. So we build, right, let me see here. Hmm, menage, no, that's not it. Dungeon, treasure room, achievement, wait, what? So, uh, you need to build it in a superior garden. And so I would build a second one rather than replacing my uh my spirit fairy ring tree thing and it requires four ancient crystals four marble blocks and 80 construction and i'm not gonna build one just yet because uh because it, like the ancient crystals probably don't exist in the game yet and it'll be dumb expensive if they do uh but anyway what does this obelisk do well it operates like roughly the same as the obelisks in the wilderness being that when you use it it will teleport you to a random obelisk in the wilderness but you can't teleport to your house obelisk from the wilderness ones and if you have all the wilderness diaries complete like right meow if you have all of those complete then you can choose which obelisk to land at from your house but again you still can't go from the your from the wilderness obelisk to a house obelisk the one change that's only really worth reading out is this one which you're gonna hear in uh 10 seconds TikTok fan. So you might know um, from past experiences that the stamina pot makes the same sound as prayer draining to zero when it drains to zero, but now it makes this sound. <laughs> that was the most pathetic sound ever. It's not very noticeable, but at least it's not the same as prayer because 
that would really catch you off guard. You'd be like, and you'd panic because you think your prayer dropped when it didn't. It was just your stamina pot. So that's a good change. And uh, yeah, let's go back to Rev Caves. This time I'm going to change up the gear a little bit. Um, so I think this is a pretty good setup. Actually, wait, what am I risking? So ideally, if you're going here, you really want to only protect three items because it's a very good chance that you'll get um, smited. Actually, wait, I should bring climbing boots and a berserker ring. Save so you not working out what I'm doing. I'm literally just looking out the best, like, uh, the best stats I can get from one slot. So that's pretty good because it's one item rather than two. Glory to get out. Legend Escape because it's cheap. Dehide because magic resistance. Climbing boots for plus two strength. Berserk ring has plus eight strength. Uh, so if you had an infernal cape, then you would bring the infernal cape over the berserk ring. And yeah, that looks good to me. And of course the Ellie to try not to die. So let's go in again. Bandit camp teleport. It's pretty good. So just be clear. Bandit camp teleports you here. The ref caves are there. Oh no, I'm getting attacked. Oh, but it's by one of these, that's fine. And so the Revenant Cave teleport scroll will just teleport you to this entrance. I think it will teleport you to just inside the entrance rather than outside. Ouchie. Again, you'll probably want to want to bring a stamina pot because, uh, yeah, you'll probably want to drink one as you're running up and, like, have plenty for it when you need to run away from PK. I say when rather than if because, let's be honest, for the next, like, few months, this is gonna, this area's gonna be packed. Oh, I forgot super combat. <laughs> and we back. It looks like Elder Maul, because that's basically a discount Chaotic Maul, and that's what people used here back in the day. Chaotic Mauls and Rapiers was basically it, but we haven't really got a Rapier version in 07, so... Oh man, Bludgeon sucks. I hit once. Once! I think Elder Maul is probably the way to go. Oh, but yes, while I kill these, let me just say, give me your suggestions for what you want to see me do in the Rev Caves, because there's so much I could do. Like, I could go single PKing, but I'd probably die very much so. I could try to do a mass of my clan chat, though it's not very full right now, but sometimes it is. So we could try to do a mass of that, that would be pretty fun probably. Or anything you really want to see, and I will uh, try to do it. So yeah, any ideas at all? Oh, he's got D-Claws, man. Oh, D-Claws! Dude, oh, you can... Oh, dude, back in the day. I just had a cool video idea where I can take what I did back in the day with uh, with my old friend who doesn't play anymore, and reenact that but in 07's Rev Caves. So what we would do is we would have like chaotic moves or whatever, and then we would have claws in our inventory, and we'd be pretending to kill uh, Revenant... Uh, revenants and then when we saw another revenant killer we would go attack a revenant near him and then we would claw him out and we would kill him and see what he had that was sort of fun so we might do something like that something along those lines and i ain't getting no drops from this actually let me go grab stats by and see if tebow's good here because i have a tebow not mine but i still have it here <laughs> so let me go grab a stats by and switch to uh, lunas you hurt your ankle i twist my ankle dang it my ankle dude hold on someone said my name hello hello man he ran out of run let's get out of walk T.Y. smiley face. Oh, right, I'll leave him in the dust. <laughs> Alright. Oh, Revenant Dark Beast! I didn't even know that was a thing! I didn't realise he spawned here. Oh, man. And I think I'm gonna go try and find all those demons, because everyone seems to be distracted with the Revenant Caves. I'm gonna- Oh, wait, I need to stats by the, the Revenant- Well, the Revenant Dark Beast. Go wait for it to spawn again now. Dang it. But after I've examined this, I will, um, I'll hunt down those three demons and try to get the upgraded cape so we can showcase that and see if we can get an extra max hit from the 2% damage. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Be sure to tell me what you want to see me do in the Rev Caves. There's so many ideas, dude. So many ideas that I have. And, uh... But hey, if you have a better idea or like you have an idea in general, just let me know, please. Just put it in the comments and I will, uh, like even if you think your idea is garbage, just put it there because I might be able to expand on it and make it better. Uh, so any idea you have at all, uh, then yes, please give me. Hi there. Other than that, the next video you're going to see me doing is killing the three demons to get the new best in slot mage cape. So that's the next thing you'll be able to, you'll, uh, you'll see from me. Um, then hopefully Revenant Caves have calmed down by then. And uh, yeah, I think I've summarized everything. If you want to read... Some of the up <laughs> we're gonna be seeing a lot of that. If you want to read any of the other news, uh, the link to the news post is in the description as always. And other than that, I will see you later today or tomorrow with the video about the new best slot mage cave. Yee! And also all these videos that I'm gonna be making about Rev Caves, do expect there to be some uh, some some sort of funnies in there. Because if I get attacked and escape or die, it's sort of funny and they'll be in there, so expect that. And yes, other than that, that is about it, and I will see you in the other video. Hello, sir. Revs wow. Rude.